Hello there, my name is Christian Lander and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to be learning about how to update the Tor Browser and this also, of course, works as an installation for the Tor Browser itself. So let's just tell you a little bit about the reason why I'm doing this. It's because I went to use my Tor Browser today and I find out my browser is out of date, which of course is something you may find yourself with as well. So you may be using Tor for a number of reasons. You may be a journalist leaking to make sure that you stay safe. You may in fact just be a home family user who wants to make sure your banking details don't get shared across the internet. And it's all about making sure you stay private and who you are on the internet and also valuing your anonymity when you browse online. So whatever your reasons for using the Tor browser, let's find out how you update it. And you update it in exactly the same way you would download it in the first place. So here you could download the Tor browser bundle update. And of course I believe it's in version 452. Let's go and have a look. So it says here Tor browser for Windows. It's obviously auto detected the fact that I've got Windows and I'm running Windows 7 here um, so I will choose to download the Tor browser which is going to work exactly the same way as if you're using Windows 8 and I'm assuming Windows 10 as well and XP. Let's just hit download folder. Now of course where you choose to save this is completely and utterly up to you. I choose to save stuff first of all on the desktop because that way I can then see what it is and then I can rearrange it a little later. So that's now just going to come down. I believe it takes it doesn't take too long at all really so we'll just wait for that to finish. I think it's about 35 meg, so it should be down pretty sharpish. Okay, so once your Tor browser has downloaded, you'll find it has an installation uh, binary exe here. So I just want to run this. Again, I, I wrote it from the desktop just so I can see what's going on with it. And you, it will basically create a folder. Uh, which you then can have the folder wherever you wish to. So again, I'm going to put this under my desktop for now, and uh, just because it makes a little bit of sense. Now this is a self-contained uh, program folder, so you can put this folder anywhere you like. So this can be, and you, you can actually transfer this folder to your uh, program files, for instance, which actually we might do towards the end of this uh, tutorial. Uh, it says here, do you want to run the Tor browser? Yes. Uh, and start menu and desktop shortcuts. So again, showing that I can put this folder if I wanted to into my program files or wherever you choose to on your PC. So here we are. Tor unexpectedly exit. That's because, of course, this one is open as well. So let's just uh, close this one off. Close that. Let's just restart Tor. Okay. Let's just best describes our situation. This is this is certainly new for the new browser. So which of these following best describes your network? If we need to obviously go to configure a bridge or go through a local proxy, that's going to be your option. But for most people it's going to be this connect here. This will then uh, establish itself to the relay of the Tor network. And uh, here we go. Oh yeah, browser is currently configured to use Tor. So you can go and do your banking, go search the hidden wiki if you wanted to, or any of the other Onion sites out there in the deep web. So thank you very much for following this tutorial. And I hope it's going to be of some use to you. Thank you very much. My name is Christian Lander, and I hope to see you in the world of the internet very soon indeed. Super simple.